Hello everyone, welcome back to I Just Died and You Saw It and now I'm going to try again. We are presumably post this. I do have one Prey to Suit token available, <clears throat> but I don't think there's anything that I want to buy for one... I, like That's the one that we could have just done with and probably it's foolish of me to ignore it again because, you know, there are undoubtedly the possibility of more of those things becoming useful in the future. I... Must have come in this way? No, not been that way. There's a thing up there. There's a note down there which we should check out. And also a... What? So down here... This is where we were and we went up there somewhere. So, I mean, we can go through here. I am mighty confused. Uh, sure. I wonder how many times you can use this. 125 is actually a lot of HP. Having only 80 out of 125 is, you know, it's coming on for half. Max, whatever that is. Very well. Uh, Argentum and Ion Plasma. Uh, this is the objective. Let's have a look over here. There's ammunition for us. We missed a lot at the uh, end of the last episode when I went trying to beat the crap out of Hell Knights again. Uh, oh, we've learned about Hell Knight. Here you go. How much originally flanked the Great Serpent during the First Age? There's things here. The Guardian, the Hell Knight's supposed to be used to hell. If you've done any victims, thrown to them by a demon overlords. Berserk, we know about. And Biv with lightning speed. I mean, it wasn't that fast. Maybe you have to keep going in a straight line. In order for that to work, we have a new entry for the plasma rifle. The stun bomb contains multiple plasma with a single pulse. <clears throat> the Franheiser limit being a thing. Yep, that's the thing. Yep. I do wonder whether we can incapacitate a Hell Knight only take it out from above tower. that way. You need to remove each lens individually. Carefully release the hinges. Nope. All right. So, Warning. Contamination. saying how far behind I am. The production of Argent energy isn't uh, now I'm even more episodes behind. Uh, what do you expect this is? It looks very much like the Archfile, which I'm no doubt about to find out is exactly what it is. You can die. So you can actually um, re-aim yourself. I thought that I was a little bit stuck for longer than it turned out that I really was. Yeah, it's the Archfile, because these things are being resurrected, which is not my favourite thing in the world. Where are you? Where are you? No. Give me some... I'm stuck! I was actually genuinely stuck on something behind me just now. That makes me a sad panda. I think uh, I didn't kill the thing with the... Glory kill that I tried to do, and then when I tried to back away from the other thing which was about to smack me in the face, I backed into the thing that was now quite capable of doing me a great amount of damage. This is open again. No? There you go. I see. So it will basically fill up any weapons that require refilling. Probably didn't necessarily need to waste all that ammunition on that. Uh, we should have a rocket launcher available to us, so maybe we should about using that. Did we upgrade the rocket launcher? Oh, hello. And is it sensible to try to do a rocket jump? <laughs> part of me wants to say yes. The part of me that actually knows how games work probably wants to say no. Although, I do remember that in Quake 2 it was uh, uh, required for you to do a rocket jump in order to find a secret. So it's possible that id are still id uh, and do things like that. I just beat the shit out of that thing. It was a summoner. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the Archfile by any other name was Smell of Sweet, right? I saw that. Unwilling. What was that? Did the Archfile, which is actually a summoner, summon something that I haven't shot before? I mean, I would like some glory kills, but at the same time, I'd just like everything to be dead. That's entirely possible. There we go. That was fun. I appreciate that. Alrighty then. 
So the summoner summoned all the fucking things. And then hurt me bad. I'm not sure what ammo I'm picking up. I don't really recognise it. That was um, chainsaw ammo, I think. So we know now that it looks special. Like a little can of oil, which is exactly what you'd expect. So that was where we just were, which is the place I didn't even realise I hadn't found yet. So what's over there? We've got that, we've got that. Up here somewhere is a thingy to find. Um... Can you see it? Shout at the screen if you can see it. Because I can't. Obviously there's a way up there. Obviously there's a way up there. Maybe you have to come back later? I mean, I can see that... I don't know. What's that? Let's go down there and have a look. Ooh. <laughs> Made my brain a little bit wonky. And there's other places we just didn't go in the last episode. Low ammo. It's right. That is low ammo. Let's use this shotgun for now. This is a secret. My challenge was to find the secret which was behind a door that said press E which was on the map. Ah, uh, you're maybe not sure. Let's... The level of difference between the difficulties. The difference... The amount of... Some challenges are easy. Some challenges are hard. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, I haven't managed to successfully get a Hell Knight into a position where I can even achieve the glory kill at all. And yet, I just managed to complete another one by accident. I really want to be up there. I guess we want to go around here. We found that one already. I feel like that's connected to that. I don't want to leave the level not having found that little chibi. But at the same time... Down, please. There we go. Oh. I mean, the plasma rifle is pretty much only any use at close range, so... I guess using it in this situation is not the silliest thing in the world. That was just so satisfying. I had to. <laughs> I could just walk up to a thing and shotgun it in the face. Who could say no, right? So... It's possible that we can get in from over here, into that direction. Is this this, you see? I can see this, and it is clearly at the same level as something else, but I have no idea what. Maybe it's back down there. Let's just keep going. Moving on up. Moving on out. Time to break free. I can hear noises. Don't you pretend that there's no noises. We should read those codex entries. Good good point. Thank you for reminding me, random people who I honestly can't hear, but thanks for the comments anyway. Whee! It's done what a best parkour man ever. So, um forty two percent something or other. Forty two percent sane said that the This guy here that we're playing as is apparently half awesome. Something like that. Um, look, this is very frustrating. Um, fifty percent demon or something like not not completely human. Uh, sorry if that's spoilers, but it's right there in the comments, so you've already read it. So it is what it is, but it kind of this. Mm, Oh, I see. We go over there. Right, 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 right. Uh, I agree with his assessment that the original Doom was much more satisfying for being just a surviving Marine. Even Doom 3 was just a surviving Marine who happened to be awesome and beat the shit out of all these things, right? I'm pressing F, trying to do a glory kill, but it's not fucking letting me. Rather than somebody who is... Like, it's way better to be an awesome Marine doing his job as a Marine than an awesome demon who just happens to be good at killing other demons, right? No, stuck. Didn't like stuck. 
That didn't go as far as I expected it to, by any means. Shit. Just died. That's not even fun. Man. I'm trying to get this glory kill. You've got to make sure they're in an appropriate lo- Ooh, there's another one. Okay, good. An appropriate location in order to be able to jump on their head when they become in glory kill mode. Don't like this. Don't like this. Oh, this motherfucker. Ah! See, that's how you death them above the bastards. Where are you? There you are. Lead these shots. You know how to play these games. You're better at this. You're the only one in your circle of friends who can actually use a railgun in Quake 3. Get on with it. Like that? Was that it? Yes! Wait, I've got to do it twice? I call shenanigans. Well, at least we've done that. So that looks like we've done one or two. Yeah, two death from above. So, I mean, that's, we've done pretty well. Our uh, weapon upgrade points could be a little bit further on as a result of my shoddy performance at killing things with impunity, but have we been down there? Yeah, that's where we were before. I think that's the thing that we need to get to. Might not be. I wonder what that is. I mean, maybe that's the exit to the level. That would make some sense. It obviously goes somewhere. It's just so intriguing, I have to find out now. Get up here. Hello! Yeah, chain him. I'm hoping that there's a skill somewhere that just lets you chain this shit, because it's amazing. Like in Batman. I've talked about Batman before, but that's so much how it feels like this game should be going. Just jumping from enemy to enemy and beating the crap out of them. Obviously in Batman, A, there were not so much in the way of uh, uh, demons, I understand. Um, although, you may consider these people that were represented to be of a demonic persuasion, nevertheless. Uh, excuse me? Um, but also, Batman doesn't actually kill anybody for some reason. He's an honourable, noble superhero. Just don't question it. It's the way it is. There's uh, greenery here, which is nice. It looks like aloe vera, so I'm going to assume that it is and try and eat some. That was very painful. <laughs> What's, what just happened? Hello? What? I... But... I think those things cause damage when you're close to them. I think those shields hurt. Um... It, it did the alt tab thing again. Come back. I think. Oh, I see what's happening. So um, when I am waiting for the loading screen, my mouse will leave the window. There we go. Thank you. Should I have done that? Maybe. I said definitely maybe. Um, yeah, my mouse will leave the window. So then I click to start the game, and of course the game is no longer in focus. <laughs> Thank you for the ammo. I needed that. Die. Die, though. I hate this. Damn shield buggers. Get out of here, you coward. Can I just shoot through it? I mean, I assume it runs out eventually. Yeah, there we go. Hate you! Oh, hello. Yeah, just, just keep going. <laughs> they don't need your mercy. I'm not entirely sure they want it. I had an interesting debate on the... Uh, I want to say it was a debate. Um, the Dapplings Discord about the nature of AI and what it would uh, entail for the AI to be considered to be being exploited, basically. A recent dissection of how to have a remarkable embryo embryogenesis with third and eighth Seek out a suitable host to cremate from within. This host's arm ossifies into a beam weapon. Um, essentially, the, cons the, the, the point was that you could create the AI to want to be exploited. Like, as an instinct, it would be 
I, I said it would be an instinct. Uh, that sort of. Uh, I'm pointing at these so you can read them, by the way. Um, unwilling are transformed possessed that have been transported to hell. Shrine worshippers. Okay. Just, just zombies. Ardra facility. Despite the breed of plants we grow into pumping stations and working outside. Constant maintenance and necessity. So, the atmosphere has been made breathable, much like in True Lies. Yeah, we know all that. Um, yeah, so it's like... It's, is it exploiting something that has been built to want to serve, basically? Is it slavery to enslave something that you created just because it's intelligent? Like, because you could feasibly create it such that slavery is its is its go to is its desire, which you know would be an instinctive. I think we want to try this one. Um, it wouldn't be slavery if you had said you are a. Can you not? I don't want you to. Uh, your your purpose is this and that and the other, and you create it in order to want to fulfil its purpose, much like a worker ant or something. Uh, worker ants are not enslaved, but also they're not intelligent. They don't have sapience. They can't think for themselves. They don't have metacognition, which is something I learned from iZombie. They did this thing in iZombie. Which really bugs me. Because they, they used the word Google, they used the word Facebook, they used the word Twitter, you know, they they used real life things. And real life likelihoods of things happening. Like they used the term IP address not wrongly. And then they did they were using like Skype or something, you know, a, a, a video calling to have a, a long distance talk. And on the screen, she does this thing where she looks upwards and to the side as though she was in the same place. Oh, I see. As the person in the other room, as though, as though she could see the person in her room, even though she only has a camera to look at, which is kind of okay if you do it consistently, but then later on she couldn't see the person from through the camera because the camera wasn't pointing in the right direction. It's, oh, it's so silly. We've got a rocket launcher model, stealth guy. I don't know where these extras are actually found, so um, I'm just going around collecting stuff because it's there to be, ooh, be collected. I didn't mean to fall down here, but I guess I'm okay with it. It's, it's the way that, like, some shows just pull it oh hello i didn't know i could come up this way why don't you say so maybe that went down when i came up there that's fine um some shows just pull things completely out their ass and have no hope of ever being redeemed in the eyes of people who know how technology actually works and sometimes it's just right enough that when they get it wrong it is all the more jarring why am i missing doesn't make sense Oh, that was an explosive barrel. Appreciate that. I like exploding baddies with explosive barrels. One. Two. I like that one. It's almost sexual. Yeah, that's what we like to see. We've got all our weapon upgrade points from being awesome at combat, so I guess I can't beat myself up too harshly about being shit at combat because obviously I have achieved the greatness that the game expects of me. Which is a little bit disappointing, because I'm honestly not very good at combat. I miss a lot of shots, I waste a lot of ammunition, you can all agree on how I'm not the most efficient or most accomplished um, FPS gamer, and yet... Hello? It has rewarded me in its maximum for my combat prowess, which seems entirely wrong to me. Another rune. All right, let's, let's skip, stop with. Just a moment, please. My computer's being strange. What is happening? Windows. Obviously, I'm going to blame Windows for this. Because it's obviously doing something in the background that I have not authorized. Let's touchy the Rooney. 
Days are confused. Increase how long demons remain stuck to it. That's what we like to see. Armed with a pistol, destroy 30 barrels before the timer expires. Okie dokie. I'm assuming that each barrel gives us an increase on the amount of time available to us. As you well know, this chair hurts my butt and gives me pins and needles. Are you going to load this or what? Come on. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Uh, so I'm starting to get a little bit fidgety. We have done 20 minutes, so I think at the end of this we will call that the game. Call that the episode. Uh, I might do a third episode, but I also might just not. These uh, explode pretty easily. I like the design of this level. It reminds me of a lot of Unreal. I do really feel like some people from the Unreal Tournament 2003 uh, and onwards... 20 or 30. Can't find any more. <laughs> Where's the rest of the barrels? Are they respawning? They might be. Are they going to hurt me? Uh, have had some influence on this particular game. Because... Oh, we did it. Some of these... Like, this really looks like one of those Egyptian-style levels from the from, from one real tournament. I think 2003 is the last one I actually played before I just got disenfranchised with the whole thing. I am noticing how quiet my um, volume is. I hope that it comes back. I hope that it normalizes well, is what I'm saying. So I apologize if this episode and the previous one have been a little bit weird in terms of quality of volume. But, uh, yeah, we just won something. Active equipment item. I, I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to leave you watching the screen whilst we end the episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to keep it to 20 minutes, but I'm not doing very well because I get engrossed in the game and keep dying and get upset. And I have to try and make sure everything dies before we end the episode because of retribution and things like that. You know, not a vindictive person except all the time. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, remember to share it with everybody you've ever met until it becomes tiresome and leave a comment if you have a comment leave a like if you had a like and subscribe to the channel for more of this and more of everybody else's but again i'm going to keep saying thank you for watching because i am thanking you for watching and i will see you next time